Hi, Aquarius, it's me. Elle here to do uh, a quick reading for you, a daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it, Aquarius. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's going on. Now, let's see what's going on for the Aquarius in love. What's the love situation for Aquarius? What's the love situation? Love. I know a lot of the Aquarius are not concerned with love right now. Um, love, her love stinks. All right, love stinks. Um, seven of Earth. All right, so... Um, it looks like you and somebody else have accepted the fact that you aren't talking, that, it, you know, it's just a period of no activity. You're okay with it. They're okay with it. It's like no one is budging. You know, it's a passive energy. Uh, somebody wants to say something. Someone wants to come forward, but they're not. Same with you, Aquarius. You're not doing it. It's just not happening right now. You know that the seeds you have planted, you know the energy that you have put into this connection, and you're waiting for manifestation, you're waiting for things to turn over. Um, it seems as if the both of you feel like it's just not the end, though. You're both frustrated with how the process is going or how you both have kind of shown up in each other's lives. Some of you feel like this is just a gestation period. You know, this is just what's happening. Um, we're letting this grow, uh, maybe apart from one another, or, or there's not a lot of activity and then we're going to come back together and it's going to be beautiful. We're going to birth something beautiful, something like the 10 of pentacles. I don't know. That could be some of you, you know, how you're thinking about this. Um, some of you, you got somebody who this could be you Aquarius. It could be the other person. Somebody is like, I want to finish what I started. You know, they, they, they don't want to let this go. They're looking at all the time and the energy, the love, everything that was put into this uh, relationship. And, um, they're wanting to uh, have it back. They want to have this, have this back. Or they want to come back together. Um, one more card for love for Aquarius. Uh, wow, the seven of water. Okay, so you got two seven. Seventy-seven could be significant for you, Aquarius. Uh, a lot of fantasy, a lot of wishful thinking. Either you or it's both or it's mutual. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that's the same thing. It could be mutual. Um, or it could be the other person. A um, lot of wishful thinking. Somebody needs to make a choice because the opportunity is fleeting. It's leaving. It's not, it's, you know, it's not always going to be here. There's a lot of procrastination, okay? Um, it's a lot of uh, wishing that, you know, it, it could be more or that you guys could have more or that you can have the relationship back, but there's no action, you know? Um a lot of fantasy, illusions, maybe somebody thinking about you or you're thinking about them. You, you create these dreams and these fantasies, these illusions in your mind or vice versa. This is what they're doing. Um, and, and this keeps them at a place of um, com comfort. Like they're comfortable just having you in their mind. This is somebody completely living, you know, um, in the shadows of in their mind, not coming towards. This could be you, Aquarius, could be the other person. Let's see. One last card for love for Aquarius. The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, uh, so the wheel. Um, somebody's waiting for the perfect time, the right time. Uh, yeah, definitely a timing thing, destiny, fate. Somebody realizes that you are a soulmate, high-level soulmate. Okay, that one wanted to come out. Wow, seven of fire. So you get seven, seven, seven. All right. Um, that could be significant for someone. Talks about mastery, you know, uh, magic also. Relationships. Partnership. The seven of fire. Somebody could be wanting to fight for what they feel like they have with you. Now they feel like they want to fight for the connection. You know, destiny, all of a sudden, somebody feels like they want to fight for the connection. They come out of just being completely caught up in fantasy, accepting the fact that you guys are not together and not talking, and then something happens. I don't know if this is divine intervention. 
And now somebody wants to fight for it. So they go from what has manifest was uh, not talking, not being together, a lot of wishful thinking to maybe the, you know, the divine, the universe stepping in and now pushing them to a place of action. You need to take action, at least in their, in their emotional state. You know, you need to take action. You need to go from no action, illusions to action. Okay. Um, and this could be, you could be the other person. One last card on this, uh, the three of earth. So they could be coming to you wanting to, it sounds like this person is trying to figure out how you guys can share your life together, how you can come back together. They understand that you have to do something together. They feel like that you guys have to do something tangible. Like you have to do something to take this relationship to the next level. You know, it can't just be, oh, we're getting back together. It has to be something tangible, the manifestation of of the relationship, of, of what you guys said you wanted before. This person could, you know, they definitely want to work with you now or work on this. They want to recreate this. What is this? Six of water and the magician. So it's like, um, they, they feel like you're a soulmate and they could just want to maybe make things more simple, more simple, uh, the simpler things in life saying, I love you. Uh, apologies, making some proposal. They feel good with you, Aquarius, or vice versa. This is you. They want to come back towards you. The six of the six of cups. It's like they're romanticizing the past, you know, the past relationship. Um, but there's a lot of immaturity, you know. Um, there was a simple disagreements turned into knock down, drag out arguments because of somebody's inability to communicate their emotions, you know, in a mature fashion. So it's like a emotional immaturity. It could be you Aquarius, could be the other person, could be mutual. But it's like now somebody is taking the power in their own hands. So this is like a somebody that you guys weren't boyfriend and girlfriend. Okay. On paper, if you wrote down all the things that you did together, people would say, okay, you guys were clearly together, boyfriend and girlfriend. But when it came down to it, I don't know if you ever had to talk with this person, like, are we together? Or it always seemed as if there was something, some obstacle in the way to where it wasn't realized. Something was not realized here with the magician. Um, or it can't be realized. It's like, um, maybe you know that this person is the person for you. Maybe you're divine masculine. But there's something holding up making the relationship real in the 3d like we just know in our minds that we are, are good for one another we know in our hearts that we're good for one another but we haven't made it real in the world or to the world that's interesting yes yeah, some ace of earth somebody's waiting for the opportunity to come towards you present something to you Yeah, someone could be waiting for the opportunity to they want to come back towards you um somebody could also just want to solidify the the relationship again by way of sex okay let me not that deck um yeah it's like look if we have sex again that means we're back on i like the aces of course everybody does but it talks about a new you know a new start and you're gonna have to put a lot of work behind this to actually see it you know go through and and actually manifest into something long term. Sometimes the aces can sometimes uh, portray that there will be a new start, but no progression. It's like you stop at the ace. You got the opportunity and then it was just like, okay. No effort. Little to no effort. So do know that maybe you'll start something up with this person. Um, whomever you're coming to the reading for. And then uh, it, it might stop it, it just as soon as it starts. Let's talk about career and finance for the Aquarius. Career and finance for the Aquarius. Very nice. Ace of Wands. So it looks, it looks as if you're fired up about something. This is the entrepreneur card. When you have the energy, the motivation, the drive to actually see things through. 
throwing your hat in the ring, getting busy up for the challenge. You understand you're going to work harder for yourself than anyone else. I mean, you're just up for it here. You could be um, a light worker, path shower, shaman, I don't know, whatever. But it, it's something where you, um, there's a lot of creativity, passion involved in whatever this is. All right, career and finance. Two of swords. So you got some decision to make. You got to cut out one and go to the, go towards the other. So you could have two options here. Focus on negotiation. That's what the two of swords says. Focus on negotiation. Focus on the pros and the cons of the situation. Right now, you feel like it's just easier to walk away and not make a decision. You'll come back to it, whatever this may be. It says that um, there's something you're not seeing. Burying your head in the sand. Wow, yeah, the high priest is, it, and spirit is talking to you. Listen, get to a place of meditation where you can hear spirit. It's like you're, you're, you're shutting something out. You know you should be doing this thing. You know you should be active in this thing, but you're not doing it. Could be something work from home, something with the esoteric, something with spirituality, you being a wise woman or a man. You needed to listen to that feminine energy in terms of um, creativity. Planning. Wow, six of wands here. You're going to have some help and success in business. Seven of pentacles waiting for that harvest. You've done the work. You know it's coming. You're persevering. Finishing what you start also, Aquarius. Uh, the chariot. It looks like you're going to have a lot of whatever the obstacles were are you're going to move past them and you're going to go in a new direction. Some of you could be traveling for work or you're going to get a promotion that allows you to, um, you're going to, it's like upward movement. Okay. Um, maybe even moving or moving away, moving to a different, uh, department. I don't know. The chariot says that something about, um, maybe astrology, astronomy, look at your astrology, your chart. Something is aligning for you to actually make some move. Okay. Um, look at all the, the, okay. So the universe wants you to live in the present. Stop always living in the future. Look at all that you have accomplished. Reflect. Look all that, look at all that you have achieved the chariot talks about achievements bask in that energy the six of wands it says uh strutting your stuff winning and strutting your stuff while doing it looking good while doing it some of you the five of pentacles you're going from lack and if you're in a place of lack Okay, some of you intuitively know that some money is coming in for you or that you're going to make a lot of money. Wow, as I say that, I didn't even look down at the card. Watch the Ten of Pentacles. Because when you have the seven and then the five together, when, you, when they come out like that, this talks about intuition. So it's like you know that you know that you're destined to Ten of Pentacles to make a lot of money. You just need to see it through. You need to finish what you start. It's starting slow. But that, that doesn't mean, oh, throw it to the wayside because you were, you weren't an overnight success or you didn't get a hundred orders in the first day that you, you launched or you didn't get a hundred, uh, you know, phone calls or whatnot. It just says persevere, see it through the universe rewards work. Okay. If you don't put in any work, what is the universe rewarding? So that's for some of you. Um, and even when it looks like it's not working, do understand there are laws that govern our existence okay um and you know th those laws and some sometimes those equations are you know work equals force over a certain amount of time or distance so if you haven't forced something if you haven't done something for a certain amount of time then you have done what no work so make sure that you're doing whatever you're doing for a certain amount of time okay and a, a certain amount of distance if you will so that you can say, at least I put in the work, the seven of pentacles. Some of you ain't did the work, but you want the spoils. Come on now. 
some of you need to go back and you need to study. You need to, um, the page of swords here, you need to learn. Um, you need to get creative. These are new ways to make money too with the page of swords here. You need to learn. Some of you need to pick up a book and you need to read. Okay. Um, yes, we are Aquarius, but we don't know everything. All right. So pick up a book, read, gain knowledge. Page of Swords here. It, there's an opportunity for you to have long term goal fulfillment recognition, just the best reputation as an expert in whatever it is you're doing. And you know that you can do that, but somebody, somebody here wants instant gratification, instant results. And, you know, that happens for some people. It really does. We can name so many different people who are overnight success, if you will. Um, but is that happening, you know, on a grand scheme or the, a grand scale? No, because then it wouldn't, there'd be no such thing as overnight success because it would be happening for everybody. It would just be called success. So, I mean, if you're trying to be the, uh, you know, um, I don't know if you're trying to play play the lottery on that thing. Good luck. I mean, and really, good luck. But, wow, success. <laughs> yes, Aquarius, you, you're going to have success. But the Spirit wants you to understand practicality, okay? And they want you to know we're behind you, the chariot here. You know, we're moving the obstacles out of the way. We're going to make sure you're going in the right direction. But if you're not doing anything, then guess what we're doing? Nothing, too. So, we can all take a break if you want to. That's how spirit is feeling like. You know, we move when you move. Let's see. Wow. Big happy changes, Aquarius. For some of you, you know, large sums of money are going to come in. You know that you're going to be successful in something. Um, Can we get a card for love? Can we get a card for love? One card for love. <laughs> Wait. And that was the first. I'm sorry. Wait. That was the first card. Basically, that was the first card that came out when we first started the love reading, which is the seven of pentacles. This is waiting. Um, what is the Aquarius waiting for? <laughs> okay, God, you, 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 okay, you speak today. You said you are waiting for the situation to, to improve. The situation will improve. It's like, for some of you, and this is not all of you because you know who you're dealing with and I don't. For some of you, you're dealing with somebody who has to go through life's changes, the waves, you know, they have to kind of get it, you know, understand it, and then they'll come back towards you. It's like you're waiting, Aquarius. Like, I'm not going to move until, you know, wow, I can't make this shit up. It says yes. Yes. For some of you, you know that this is your person and you're waiting for them. If you know you're waiting for somebody to grow up, to get it right, to come back towards you, if you know they weren't absolutely horrible to you, if you know that this is just not a debased person, then this is for you, okay? And in that time, while you're waiting, pray for your person to whomever or whatever you believe in. Pray for them. Pray that they their spirit is changed, that their heart is changed, that their how they look at you in relationships is changed. Don't just... You know, um, pray that you guys come back together because you come back together, then what well, you get the same person. So pray for change, not just for you, but for them also. Wow, look for a sign because it looks like um something divine is going to happen here in your love life, and it looks like in uh your career and finance, you're going to have nothing but success and big happy changes. You know it, but it says persevere through. Don't give up just because you it didn't happen like that okay uh do your research stay abreast in terms of what is changing what is new in your your sector there okay that's what i got for you aquarius if you want your own personal reading i have the 10 minute video recorded readings on sale for 25 dollars. so that's a video recorded reading that you can always refer back to take advantage of that those readings are typically 44 dollars and 44 cents so 25 dollar reading um I'm going to link it below. Also, you can go over to the website and book any other reading, okay? 
if you would like to. And if you took something from the reading, let the exchange happen. Give something back. You could buy me a coffee. Yep, the link is below. It says buy Ella coffee. Uh, and what else we got? Oh, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night. Tonight, today is Sunday, so I will be live 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can come for the collective reading. You can also ask questions, you know, uh, get your questions answered. All right. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.